morning everybody uh today we're gonna go through today we're gonna start a bit earlier and go through uh, another set of uh, prelim paper two from rosai uh, primary school so let's get started okay question one joel had six p marbles he had half as many marbles as amanda amanda had eight more marbles than raju so how many marbles did they have all together so let me just write it down over here joel at 6p <clears throat> marbles he had half as many marbles as amanda which means that amanda will have 12p okay, amanda had eight more marbles than raju okay, which means that raju will have um amanda had minus eight okay, how many marbles did they have all together Okay, so I'm just going to add them, um, 6p plus 12 plus 12 will be 24 plus 6 will be 30. So the total will be 30p minus 8. Okay, move on to question 2. James has a quarter as many sweets as Ahmad and 4 fifth as many sweets as Mutu. They have a total of 325 sweets. How many sweets does Mutu have? So I prefer to solve it in ratio. Let's write down the ratio of James is to Ahmad first. Okay, James has a quarter as many sweets as Ahmad, so which means that it will be 1 is to 4. Okay, and 4 fifth as many sweets as Mutu. So James is to uh, Mutu will be 4 is to 5. Okay, in this case, uh, the common subject would be James, right? So um, I will need to multiply by a 4 to this. Okay, to get 4 is to 16, which means that James is to Ahmad is to Mutu would be. <clears throat> 4 is to 16 is to 5 okay if they have a total of 325 sweets which means that uh, the total units which is 16 plus 4 plus 5 would be okay 25 units will be equal to 325 Okay, I'll be able to find what is one unit by using 325 divided by 25, which will give me 13. The question is asking for how many suites does Mutu have? So Mutu have 5 units, so 13 times 5 will give me 65. Okay, question 3. Two identical triangles overlap each other to form six smaller identical equilateral triangles as shown below. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, the area of the shaded part is uh, 78 square cm. Find the area of one unshaded equilateral triangle. Okay, so for this question, you need to cut the shaded part into in this manner 1 2 and um, 3 okay, so it's gonna cut into uh, equal like equilateral triangles and this shaded triangle is equal to the unshaded triangle so to find the area of one triangle I first need to use um, 78 divided by 6 okay 78 divided by 6 will give me 13 and um find the area of one unshaded equilateral triangle okay so the answer is 13.
Question 4. In an examination hall, the tables were arranged in such a way that there were 15 rows here with 30 tables in each row on day 1. Okay, on day 2, 8 tables were removed from each row and the remaining tables were then rearranged such that there were 33 tables in each row. Okay, so we need to figure out for statement A and B, is it true, false or not possible to tell? For statement A, there were 442 tables left on day 2. Okay, so let's find out what is the total number of chairs in day 1 first. Okay, for day 1, there are 15 rows and um, 30 tables in each row, right? So 15 times 30 will give me 450. Okay, on day 2, 8 tables were removed from each row. Okay, that means that um, <clears throat> I can do a 15 row times 8. It's gonna give me 120. <clears throat> and um, if I were to use the number of chairs on the first day, minus away the chairs that were removed. Okay, 450 minus 120 will give me 330. So for statement A, it is false. Statement B, there were 10 rows of tables on day 2. Okay, there are 33 tables in each row. So 330 divided by 33 okay, will give me 10. So the second statement B is true. Question 5. A rectangular tank was filled with some water at first. Tap A was first turned on to uh, add more water into the tank for 20 minutes. After 10 minutes, tap B was turned on to drain water out of the tank until the 20th minute. The line graph shows the volume of water in the tank over the period of 20 minutes. Okay, how many liters of water did tap B drain out? Okay, so in this question, uh, tap A was not turned off okay, throughout the 20 minutes. So only after 10 minutes, then tap B was turned on. So now I'm going to write down the amount of um, number on each dot first. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is 18. This is 13. Okay, this is 58. This is 48 and this is... I'm not wrong, 38. Okay, so we look at the first 10 minutes where only tap A was turned on. Okay, so the volume of the tank increased from 18 to 58. So if I use 58 minus 18, okay, it's going to give me 40 liters. Okay, in <clears throat> 10 minutes, this is for tap A. Okay, so which means that in 20 minutes, okay, tap A will fill up 80 liters okay but if we look at the volume of um, the amount of water in the tank at the end of 20 minutes okay there's only 38 liters okay that means at the 20th minute okay if Tap B is off. Okay, there will be a total of 80 plus 18, which is 98 liters. Okay, but at the end of the 20th minute, there's only 38 liters. 
Okay, so if 98 minus 38, it will be 60 liters okay so this should be the answer for this question question 6 one third of Julie's money was equal to three fifths of Nancy's money after Julie gave um, Nancy $42 both of them would have the same amount of money how much money did Nancy have at first? Okay, so if you're familiar with this first sentence where a fraction of something is equal to another fraction of something, okay, what we do is we change the numerator to become the same. So Julie is one third and um, Nancy is three fifth. I need to multiply by three, multiply by three to this, okay, to give me a three over nine. Okay, the denominator will tell me how many units are there okay which means that julie is to nancy is nine units is to five units okay after julie gave nancy 42 dollars so if nancy were to give i'm oh, sorry if um, julie were to give nancy two units okay they will both have seven units is to seven units which means that the two units is equals to 42 dollars <clears throat> okay one unit will be equal to 21 how much money did nancy have at first so nancy will have uh, five units which is 21 times five okay 105 dollars okay question seven <clears throat> andy had um, just enough ribbon to cut into 45 shorter pieces of equal length however if he cut the ribbon into 37 pieces of equal length he would have 5.04 meters of ribbon left what was the length of ribbon <clears throat> okay so 45 minus 37 will give me 8 pieces so these eight pieces is equal to the 5.04 so i'm going to use 5.04 divided by 8 okay it's going to give me 6 or uh, 0.63 meter okay what was the length of the ribbon the length of the ribbon will be 0.63 times 45 28.35 okay question eight when he wants to sell a laptop the table shows the prices of the same laptop from his shop and shop Hawaii Tony wants to price his laptop at the same selling price as <clears throat> Shop Y. How much percentage discount must he give to match Shop Y's selling price? Okay, so let us find out what is the selling price of Y first. Selling price of Shop Y. Okay, since there's a 30% discount, which means that the selling price will be 70% of the $4,000. Okay, I'm going to reduce. So this will give me 70 times 40, which will be 2,800. Okay, so in order for Tony to sell at uh, 2,800, he needs to give a discount of... Okay, seven hundred dollars. 
Okay, so to find out this $700 is what percentage, we need to use 700 over the original and multiply by 100. Okay, so using 700 divided by 35 is going to give me 20%. Okay, question 9. Alfred left his house for Zane's house. Alfred wants to reach Zane's house at 6 pm. After Alfred walks at a speed of 16 meters per minute, he will be 16 minutes if sorry, late. If he jogs at a speed of um, 18 meters per minute, okay, he will be 8 minutes late. What is the distance between Alfred's and Zane's house? Okay, in this question, the distance between um, Alfred and Zane's house is a constant, which means that this is a okay, the distance is a constant. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna write down the ratio of um, the if he works at sixty and if he works at eighty. So for the speed, the ratio of speed is 60 is to 80, which is simplest form is uh, 3 is to 4. Okay, so if I were to write down the ratio of time, okay, the ratio of time will be the opposite of the ratio of speed because um, the slower you are, the longer time you will take. So the ratio of speed uh, the ratio of time will be 4 is to 3. Okay, this would be for the um, 16 minutes late. <clears throat> this, is, <clears throat> this is for the 16 minutes late. And this would be for the 6 minutes late. Okay, which means that the difference between them, which is the one unit is equals to okay, 10 minutes, one unit is equals to 10 minutes. Or maybe I should write like 16 minus 6, okay, which is 10 minutes. Okay, which will work out to be uh, 40 minutes. Okay, and 30 minutes. Okay, what's the distance between Alfred's and Zane's house? So um, if we... I'm gonna do a check for the answer. Check. Okay, at 60 meter per minute. Okay, if I multiply by 40, it will give me okay, 2400 meter. And 80, if I were to multiply by the 30 minutes, okay, it's gonna give me the same 2400 meter. Okay, so, um, Yep, which means that the distance between Alfred's and Zane's house will be 2,400 meter. Okay, question 10. In the diagram above, PQS is an equilateral triangle, PQS. QT is a straight line and um, PR is perpendicular to QS. Angle PQV is a 35. PQ. The PQV of PQU. 
Okay, it doesn't matter. And um, angle PST, PST is 75. Okay, so for A, we need to find what's angle QPR, QPR, which is marked here. <clears throat> And we also need to find angle QTS. QTS is also marked out over here. Okay, we can find um, part A first because this is perpendicular, right? Okay, PR is perpendicular to QS, which means that this is 90 degree. And this over here is 60. So which means that this angle over here is <coughs> 35 okay so which means that this will be 30 so for part a angle qpr is equals to 30 degree okay for part b we know that this is 60. Okay, so looking at triangle QTS, okay, I'm gonna use 180 minus 60 minus 75 and minus 25. Okay, it's going to give me <coughs> 20 degree so the answer for part b will be <coughs> for angle qts is equals to 20. <coughs> okay question 11 the figure consists of um, two identical rectangles A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H overlapping one another. Okay, e, B, C, H. E, B, C, H is a square. <clears throat> the area of each rectangle is uh, 280 square cm. 40% of the whole figure is shaded which means that 60% is unshaded. Okay, the unshaded area of the whole figure is 360 square cm. Okay, what is the ratio of um, triangle EXH to the area of um, ADGF? Okay, so first... Um, I know that 40% of the whole figure is shaded, that means 60% is unshaded. <clears throat> okay, so 60% will be equal to 360 square cm. Okay, I'm gonna find what is um, 1%. 1% will be 360 divided by 60, which is 6. I'm gonna find what is 40%. Okay, 40% will be 6 times 40, which is 240. Okay, this is the shaded area. Okay, I'm going to cut this square into six identical triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> okay, that means if I use 240 divided by six, okay, I'm going to get uh, 40 square cm. And this is basically the area of EXH. Okay, and um, the next thing that I need to find will be ADGF. 
Mm. <clears throat> okay, I can move these two parts over here. This and this. Okay, into here. Okay, which means that if I were to use the unshaded part divided by 2, the use 360 divided by 2 should give me 180. 180 is the area of um, AE HD. Okay, then if I were to use 180 plus 280, which is area of uh, one rectangle, gonna give me 460 so 460 is basically the area of um, AD GF okay so the ratio of um, EX H is to AD GF will be 40 is to 460 Okay, which is 2 is to 23 180 plus 280 is 460 okay yeah let's move on to the next question okay question 12 the number of visitors to a zoo was out uh, 152,880 in July. There was a 16% decrease from the number in June. Okay, this was a 16% decrease from the number in June. Number of people who visited the zoo in August was a 20% increase from the number in July. Part A, what was the total number of people who visited the zoo in June? And part B, what was the percentage increase in the number of people who visited the zoo in August compared to June? What was the total number of people who visited the zoo in June? Number of visitors in July is uh, 152880. This was a 16% decrease. Okay, which means that um, 100 minus 16 is 84%. Okay, 84% is equals to 152880 okay so i can find what is uh one percent and find what is hundred percent which is the number in um june One and two, oh, oh, oh. Okay, this will be the number in June. Okay, for part B, what was the percentage increase in the number of people who visited the zoo in August compared to June? So, uh, the number of people who visited the zoo in August was a 20% increase from the number in uh july okay so 
or part B. I'm gonna do it here. If I want to increase it by 20%, I can find what is 20% of um, 182000. Okay, this is gonna give me 1820 times 20. 36400. Okay, so the next step will be 18. 2000 plus 36400 218400 okay, to find the percentage increase I need to use um, the number in August minus away the number in um, June Okay, what's the in Oh, okay. I made a mistake at the very beginning because it's twenty percent of um July and I was finding twenty percent of June. Okay, so 20%, uh, the number of people who visited the zoo in August was a 20% increase from the number in July. So in July, it is 152880. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, 15288 times 2. So the there's an increase of 30,576. Okay, so the next step would be to use 152880 plus 30576. Okay, that would be 183. Four, five, six. This would be the number in August. Okay, so if I want to find the percentage increase in the number of people who visited the zoo in August compared to June, I'll need to use a one eight three four five six minus away one eight two zero zero zero. It's going to give me 1456. And to find the percentage increase, I need to use 1456 over uh, the number in June, which is 182000 and multiply by 100. Okay, so I divide by 1820. <coughs> Okay, it's a 0.8% increase. <clears throat> okay. Okay, this will be the answer for part B. Okay, question 13. <clears throat> Diagram below shows two tanks A and B of different dimensions. A is completely empty while B is filled with water to the brim. Find the volume of water in tank B. Okay, so for part A, it is pretty straightforward. Just need to use uh, 45 times 60 times 80. <clears throat> Gonna be 216000 cubic cm. 
Okay, for part B, water from tap A flows at a rate of 27 liters per minute, uh, while uh, water drains from tap B at the rate of 2.4 liters per minute. Both taps are turned on at the same time. After some time, the height of water level in both tanks becomes the same. Find the height of the water level at this point of time. Okay, for tap for tank A. I'm gonna find the increase in height per minute okay, by using um, 2.7 liters which is 2700 <clears throat> okay, ml okay if I would divide by the base area which is 45 times 40 Okay, this is going to give me okay, 1.5 centimeter per minute okay, which means that every minute the height of tank A will increase by 1.5 cm okay, for tank B okay, if I were to use the volume of water which is 2400 ml per minute Okay, divided by the base area of 60 times 80 this is going to give me okay, 0 0.5 centimeter per <clears throat> minute Okay, at first the, the gap between okay the water level is 45 cm over here. So the rate at which the water level is closing each other is 1.5 plus 0 0.5, which is uh 2 cm per minute. <clears throat> okay, so if I were to use uh 45 divided by 2 okay, I'm gonna get 22.5 <clears throat> um, this is minutes okay so I'm gonna do a check now because um, the time will be 22.5 minutes, so I'm going to use 22.5 For A, it will be times uh, 1.5 goes to 33.75 cm Okay, this is for tank A for tank B, I'm gonna use 45 cm minus away. Okay, 22.5 times 0 0.5. Okay, it's gonna give me 33.75 centimeter or so. Okay, so which means that uh, the height of the water level at this point will be 33.75 cm. <clears throat> Question 14, the figure A, B, DE is a trapezium, AC is parallel to ED, AC is parallel to ED. Find angle CFE, CFE and um, FED. 
Okay, so since this is um, a trapezium, so these two lines are also parallel to each other. Okay, first I'm gonna find this angle over here. Angle ACB is equals to um, 180 minus 75 minus 65. Okay, which is equal to 40. So this is 40 over here. Which means that for angle CF um, E is equal to angle BCF <clears throat> because of the alternate angle. <clears throat> Okay, angle BCF is basically a uh, 40 plus 30, which is 70. <clears throat> okay, so this is the answer for part A. Okay, for part B. <clears throat> Let's find out what is angle um, F C D. Angle F C D is equal to um, 180 minus 40 minus 30. Equals to 110. So this angle over here is 110. And angle ACD is equals to one one zero plus thirty, okay, which is one four zero degree. Okay, if you notice, um, AEDC is a um, parallelogram. Okay, which means that. Um, <laughs> Which means that angle ACD is equals to angle A E D. Okay, so which means that angle F E D is equals to 140 degree. Okay, this is the answer for part B. Okay, question 15. Mrs. Raju wanted to decorate the bulletin board with some circular pieces of paper. The diameter of each circular paper was 12 cm. She cut all the circular pieces of paper into quadrants and decorated the entire bulletin board using all the quadrants. Following the pattern shown below. Over here. Mm, okay, there was no gap between each piece of quadrant. So how many pieces of circular paper did she use to decorate the bulletin board? Okay, so first we're gonna find across the length how many circles uh, can... What's the maximum number of circles that can be laid out completely? Okay, the diameter of each circle is 12 cm. So I'm gonna use um, 3 to 4 divided by 12. Okay, which is 27. So across the length, I can only put 27 circular pieces. Okay, across the breadth, I'm going to use 288 divided by 12. Okay, I can put uh, 12 circles. Okay, which means that across the whole board, Okay, I can put 27 times 12, which is a total of 
It's not 12. Why did I write 12? It's the default. Okay, 27 times 24 is um, 648 complete circles. Okay, but if you notice the design, uh, the design of each um, like item is a three quarter circle. So I'm going to use three quarter times 648. Okay, it's going to give me 486. It, so um, that's the total pieces of circular paper that she used to decorate the bulletin board. Okay, question 16. There were 200 more apples than pears at a fruit store. After a quarter of the apples and two over seven of the pears were sold, there was 170 more apples than pears left. Okay, how many apples were there at the fruit store at first? And B, how many pears were there at the fruit store at first? Okay, so um, this type of question, if you were to draw a model, apple will be longer okay and um pass would be smaller block okay and this part here would be the 200 okay i'm gonna find what is the lcm of four and seven so seven times four is equals to 28 so I'm going to let this part over here, the equal block be 28 unit and 28 unit. Okay, after a quarter of the apples and two over seven of the pairs were sold. So I'm going to find <coughs> for sold. Okay, the apples will be equal to um, a quarter of 28 <coughs> is seven unit. Okay, and a quarter of 200 will be 50. Okay, and as for the pairs, okay. <clears throat> okay, 2 over 7 of the pairs were sold. So 2 over 7 of 28 units will be 8 units. Okay. If these are the amount sold, which means that what's left will be Okay, 21 unit plus 150 this is for the apples and for the pairs will be 20 unit okay at this point if you um, need to draw a model maybe I should um, I should draw a model below um, they shouldn't be the same size so this is um apples and the pairs would be this is for left <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna draw a slightly bigger dotted line over here. This is 21 units and this will be 20 units. Okay, this will be 150. And the 170 will be from here to here. Okay, which means that from this model you can tell that <clears throat> one unit is equal to 170 minus 150 which is 20. okay for part a um how many apples were there at the fruit store at first k 
Okay, so 28 unit plus 200, okay, will be equal to 28 times 20 plus 200, which is equal to 760. So this is the answer for part A. For part B, how many pairs were left at the fruit store in the end? So, okay, for part B, um, the pairs left will be 20 units. So 20 units will be equal to 20 times 20, which is 400. Okay, question 17. A chef prepared some fish ball for the guests during a birthday party. 60% of the guests were children. Among the children, the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 5 is to 3. Total of 9,408 fish ball were prepared so that each adult got 5 fish balls and each child got 6 fish balls. Okay, there were no fish balls left after the party. So what was the ratio of the number of fish balls the adults got to the number of fish balls the children got? Okay, give your answer in the simplest form. Part B, how many boys attended the party? Okay, I'm going to write down what's the ratio of the number of children is to adult first. Okay, if 60% of the guests are children, which means that 40% will be adults. Okay, the ratio of children is to adults will be 3 is to 2. Okay, so over here it says that each adult got 5 fish ball and each child got 6 fish ball. Okay, which means that if I were to multiply for the adults, since each got <clears throat> 5, right? I'm going to multiply this by 5, and the children, I'm going to multiply it by 6. Okay, this will give me 18 is to 10. Okay, this is the ratio of fish ball. Simplest form will be 9 is to 5. Okay, they are asking for the ratio of the number of fish ball the adults got to the number of fish ball the children got. So they want adult is to children, which means that it is <clears throat> uh, 5 is to 9. Okay, this is for part A. <clears throat> part B, how many boys attended the party? Okay, we're gonna find out um, how many fish ball did the children receive. So 9 plus 5 will be uh, 14 units. Okay, 14 units is equal to the 9,408. <clears throat> One unit is equal to 672. And um, children is 9 units, right? 9 units is equal to 6,048. Okay, this is the number of fish more that the children receive. <clears throat> Okay, so if I were to use 6,048 divided by 6, okay, because um, each child got 6 fish ball, get 1,008. 1,008 is the number of children. Okay, ratio of um, the number of girls is to the number of boys is 
5 is to 3. Okay, which means that over here, 8 units is equal to 1008. Uh, just take note, this unit over here is different from the unit on top. Okay, if I want to find the number of boys, which means I need to find what is 3 units. So 1008 divided by 8 will give me 126. Okay, 126 times 3 is equal to 378. Okay, so 378 um, boys attended the party. Okay, we've come to the end of the paper.